hello hello everybody welcome back to our channel this is the and mom channel and if you are new you are very welcome to all of our old subscribers thank you so much for always watching our videos please do all to like subscribe and leave me a comment so in today's video we are making ginger chin chin of course i'm going to be using fresh gingers okay i'm not i'm not going to use dried um ginger or any grounded dried ginger so i'm using fresh ones i've gone and had to uh peel off the skin so what i'm going to do i'm just going to transfer here and uh blend this is actually my dry um blender my dry uh, grinder okay but the reason i'm using it is if i should pass this to my uh, food processor or my blender or the main blender it's, it's like a small quantity I don't know if it's going to blend it but I'm going to try this if this doesn't work then I'll go ahead and I am um, throw it in my processor and and just like allow it okay I really don't want to go ahead to grate it I don't have strength I beg so I'm just going to do that and get back to you guys a few moments later so guys i'm done i'm done uh with the grating or blending yeah you can see this blend this uh, chopper did like fantastic you can see okay so what i'm going to do now i'm going to transfer this into a plate like i'm doing right now and i'm going to add some water and let it sit for like five to ten minutes i don't want to use this shaft i don't want to use all of this uh, shaft thing i just want to soak this for some minutes then squeeze i want to squeeze out the juice i don't want to use the shaft from the ginger i want to squeeze out the juice that's what i'm doing today so you can see the water i'm going to be adding i don't want to add much because i'm only making three cups of um uh chin chin okay so i don't want to add much because i won't want to waste any of the liquid remember i'm still adding egg which is going to serve as liquid as well so guys so this is it this is what i have here i'm just going to let it see then i will squeeze it very well i will squeeze it making sure that everything is going is coming out like all of the ginger taste and uh, juice everything is out so let me just set this aside over here while i wait for that to sit let me just clear this one out so while i wait for that one to sit i'm going to go ahead and mix my dry ingredients so in here i have three cups of flour okay and here i have half cup which i'll be using to knead after but now i'm making the dry ingredients I'm going to add half cup of um, I'm adding half cup of milk this is full cream milk okay so that is that I'm adding uh, salt I'm adding half teaspoon of salt leveled and i'm adding up um one teaspoon this is one teaspoon of baking powder so you can actually check the description i will add all of the ingredients and measurement there this is half um one teaspoon of baking powder okay So for sugar, I'm going with half cup as well, which is the same as the milk I added. That's for sugar. And then I'm just going to add one uh, sachet of milk flavor, okay? It's just to give it the milky feel. So this is actually the reason I didn't add much of milk. For me, I like my chinchin milky. But remember we are making a uh, ginger chinchin so we won't want to overshadow the taste of the ginger by adding much milk so this is what i'm using to still get the rich taste okay so that's for dry ingredients and i'm adding um nutmeg as well
I'm not adding the full sachet, okay? I'm just adding like half of it. So there's no Nigeria chinchi without nutmeg. There's no, like, you have to add nutmeg to give it that Nigeria chinchin taste. So that's exactly what I did. And I'm just going to mix this up and set it aside. So guys that is that for all of the dry ingredients so while we are waiting for our ginger to like infuse more i'm going to clear the table to give room for all that process so i'm back and i think this is doing good so i'm just going to like uh, sieve out this water here and see what i have maybe i'll be adding more water to get more juice out but let me see what i have here already I won't want to have too much water that will end up wasting. So that is why I'm trying to be careful. So I don't end up wasting the ginger juice in any way. So guys, you can see what this is coming out to look like. Like this place smells so good. I love ginger smell. Like the way it makes your house smell good. I love it a lot. So I'm just going to try and manage to squeeze out more juice so let me set this one aside I think I've gotten the juice out from that so I'm going to like get this other one that is still wet in the sieve and just repeat the process so I'm repeating the process to get all the juice out. So if you are not okay with this process of me getting out all the fresh juice, you can just go ahead and get um, like dried grinded um, ginger, okay? I don't really trust all of these products. That is why I'm not adding it now. I don't, as in, if I'm adding any flavor in my chinchi, I always like to go for fresh. Like in my banana, in my coconuts, whatever, um, like, flavor I'm adding, I like to go for fresh ones. I think that way you can get better results you get. So, yeah, you can see we actually did well. We got all of the juice out because this doesn't look so yellow anymore you can see how this um how the previous one look okay so now we just have like let me just go ahead and squeeze out some more so you can see the water is not really very very rich anymore i've gotten most of the juice out wow this smells so good even i don't think i'm going to be throwing this away I can just keep it. I'm cooking some meat tomorrow morning. I can just keep it and just throw it in my meat and allow the rest of the juice to come out because my conscience will not even allow me. So yeah, this is it. So I'm just going to waste that one. I'm done. So guys that is that for the ginger the squeezing and the extracting <laughs> i'll be down so that is that okay so i'm just going to stir this and of course i'm going to dilute my egg right in here okay i don't want to dilute it with extra water i don't need too much water i think i have more than enough already so i'm going to stir this 
always dilute your eggs when you are making chin chin always if you are not using ginger like i'm i'm using now you can go ahead and dilute it with water but i don't want too much water okay that's why i'm diluting it in here and of course i'm going to be adding some milk emulsion I just love the, the smell of milk emulsion and it's going to enhance the taste of this chin chin like it's going to give you the richness that I need so you can see how rich this looks already you can see wow this smells so good man ah uh ah -uh. so that's the liquid so right back to the dry ingredient I'm going to add my um, my butter margarine whichever one you are using so i'm adding mine now i didn't really like measure this one this is the only margarine i have so it's going to be enough for these measurements i'm just going to use all of it okay so i'm adding this now and i'm going to work it yeah you already know this process if you've been watching my videos you see me do this like two times already, which is for the uh, milky chin chin. Okay, I think three. Yeah, two times for the milky chin chin, the banana chin chin. I actually made a video of coconut chin chin, but it's in my husband's phone, and I I sent it to my laptop, but I don't know what happened. The thing just deleted on its own. So until it comes home, that's when I'll have access to it again so yeah you just want to work this in until you get the crumbs like bread crumbs okay work this in gently so this is everything with chin chin the rest is just you mixing the wet ingredient and the dry ingredient and then kneading slice and fry yeah chin chin is not that complicated it's not it's not complicated at all you can actually just pick one day off and make chin chin for your family mostly when you have different variant like this you can go ahead and explore them make different things for your family and let them enjoy at home chin chin is a must have seriously like when you when you are expecting guests you don't need to go ahead and run around looking for what to entertain your guests with if you have chin chin you have drinks you are good to go okay chin chin is highly accepted by a lot of people it mostly here in nigeria so it's a very very friendly snack nobody is above chin chin <laughs> let me just use that word nobody nobody's above chin chin everybody likes a good chin chin so yeah i'm just going to now we have our breadcrumbs kind of look you can see the butter is well mixed here so now i'm going to start introducing my wet my wet ingredients okay and i'm doing that gradually and i hope i'm not going to waste any of this instead of me wasting it i'm going to add more flour because i can't imagine wasting any of those juice at all i can't so my bowl is small, my mixture is small, I'm going to try and use one hand to do all of it. So I'm going to be adding more flour just to get it together. I'm just going to give it a little more uh, kneading and then I proceed to um, rolling out and slicing okay so this is me I'm just uh, everything is added already so I'm just going with the extra half cup of um, 
floor making everything four cups okay this uh, recipe is this recipe is a total of four cups right now so be aware okay this is four cups of flour I'm kneading that's together with the half cup I'm kneading with okay so So I'm just going to sprinkle some flour on my on my board, but I'm not leaving the flour like this. If you have watched my video before, you will know this. Okay, this is just to get the powder on the tray so that when I put the chin chin, it doesn't stick. Okay, I don't need the flour there because if you have flour on your on the skin of your dough while you are frying, it's going to foam up. Okay, and we don't need that. We don't need that. So yeah, that is that the tray. The tray is ready and I'm just going to start um, rolling out and then cut and all that. I always just cut this in smaller bits to make it easy for me. Yeah. So that is that. I'm going to go ahead and roll out now. So chin chin process is not really tedious, okay? You just have to know, okay, I want to make chin chin. Make up your mind make up your mind that you are making chin chin and before you know it you are done so i'm really not setting on the shape i want to go for but i think i will go for the long ones this time because i've showed you guys a lot of the usual or regular chin chin shape okay so let me just do something different this time It's holiday season guys if you don't want to be buying biscuit carton all the time make some chin chin it's even healthier okay make some chin chin at home for the kids let them munch on all these snacks so that you you won't be spending money buying medications okay make some really really nice snacks for them and let them enjoy the break So I'm going for the long ones like I mentioned and as you can see I didn't make this um it's not really thick I don't know if you can if you understand or you can see what I'm trying to show you it's not really a thick um, dough I'm going for I'm not I'm not like rolling it out thick I want it to come out like light and crunchy it's ginger chin chin however way you think you can enjoy it just go ahead and do it this is not for a client if a client is going to order this I'm sure going to ask them what shape they will prefer but this is for you guys and myself and Tim Lyo so we are doing it our way today yeah so I'm just going to go in B and that is it that's the shape i'm going for today yeah that's all so you can see you can see they call this uh, rice and they call the other shape beans so today we are going for for rice there is another tiny one that they call spaghetti shape but today we are going for rice okay so guys, this is what it looks like. You can already crunch on this and imagine how this is going to taste, okay? So I'm just going to continue the process and then get back to you, show you guys what we did, okay? So I'm going to show you, it's just remaining two, okay? So I'm still using the cutting I started with and that's what I'm doing for all of them so i'm just going to show you again how i cut that so
so to guarantee a good mixture your chinchi can't be breaking while you are rolling out you get so that's what you want just make sure you dilute your eggs if you have my chinchi recipe already you should know how i deliberate on diluting your eggs you really want to do that so this is how i cut it i actually rolled it out very thin okay there is no weight on it at all it's not thick it's not as thick as if i want to do the other regular shape so this one is very thin so it can be crunchy and then you can enjoy the pattern you choose so you can see i didn't really go ahead to remove all of the edges like i will for the other one this one is kind of faster you can see it's faster so you can see you don't want to mix your dough to the point that is going to be mushy mushy so you can see how dry this is like this is not going to soak your hair you're just going to fry at ease so guys while i was still cutting the last one i think nepa took the lights guys that was really sad but then i have to go ahead and use my touch lights to show you guys the frying process okay so there's actually a lesson here that is why i said i must film it okay so the lesson here is this you can see i'm adding my my chin chin and this is not for me what you don't want to do is to go ahead and stir this immediately if you stir it immediately trust me your pot is going to overflow with uh, foamy oil but you are going to allow it to rest you are going to allow all of the uh, stuff in the floor to rest on the oil before you go ahead. and if you are the person that is always complaining of having foamy oil when you are frying your chin chin that is just the secret don't add your chinchi and then stir immediately allow the uh, floor to do its own activating thing before you stir when you stir you see no foaming nothing at all is going to happen to your oil you can see how easy this is you want to put that into practice okay yeah so darlings here is our finished look like I, in this bowl i'm trying to show you the exact quantity we got from four cups of flour okay so this is everything that we got and you can see how beautiful it looks so i want to sincerely thank you guys for always watching our videos thank you for four thousand subscribers i love you all thank you so much have a good day bye